What sort of a day has it been for Somerset? Good, bad, indifferent? Uh, I think it's been okay actually. Um, obviously there's plenty in the wicket for the, for the seamers and you saw tonight we could have easily had them two, three down quite, quite easily. So they scrap through and obviously none down and that's frustrating for us but I think we can come back again tomorrow and if we get a couple of wickets we're right back in the game again. So I think we thought if we could scrape to 200 well from where we were we were pretty happy. Obviously we would probably like 250 but um, there's plenty in the wicket for all, all the bowlers and always you always felt in the game even when Jimmy Fuller was bowling at the end it was 75 overs gone there was still plenty in the wicket so you, you're always feeling the game and um, hopefully we come back tomorrow and get a few early bowls and then get through them. Given that there is plenty in the wicket, what was behind the decision on winning the toss to bat first? Uh, uh, we, we felt it would be probably pretty similar to the Warwickshire wicket. Um, so there was the same amount of grass, same as everything. Um, just they obviously bowled a bit better than Warwickshire didn't in the day, and obviously got we were four, four, uh, three, four down quite early, and then obviously we had to scrap to, to get to dis, get to a sort of par score. And um, we thought that Warwickshire wicket probably wasn't a 500 wicket. We thought it was probably a 300, 320. So. Um, Obviously, this wicket's done a little bit more than we thought it would, um, but we, we, we still feel like we're in the game of 210. You batted top score with uh, 44 powerful Craig Overton innings. You look as if you're you know, right back in form after the after the knock up at, uh, up at Bristol again. But what did you learn from that innings about how to bowl on that pitch? Ah, uh, I think you obviously can be a fraction fuller. Obviously, there's a little bit of movement with the seam and with the swing, so you could you want to be getting the bats coming forward and trying to get them to nick off. And um, we felt they probably were a little bit short to start with, and obviously, but they, they still got the wickets. And we were probably a fraction short again there, maybe, maybe almost six inches, a little bit too short. And um, then it obviously it does a little bit and they miss it. So hopefully, we'll be a bit, bit, bit fuller tomorrow and um, we can get a few poles and go from there. You must have been impressed as well by the the accuracy, the relentlessness of the line that they bowled. Yeah, I know that they're, they're a class bowling set. They've got, well, two of them are world-class bowlers and Keith Barker's had a phenomenal career in his own right in, in, in county cricket and um, we knew it was never going to be easy and even Ian Holland and James Fuller can do a decent role on those sort of wickets. So we knew it was going to be tough and um, they bowled really well and we had to fight as hard as we could. And do you feel you're back to your best with the bat after a, oh. after a lean spell? Yeah, no. We've changed a little bit, I've changed my technique slightly. Um, I never felt like I was, I felt good in the nets. I know that, that sounds weird, but I felt good in the nets early season, just obviously get, get a few good balls and a few soft dismissals um, in there, and uh, you obviously don't get any runs. And it was quite frustrating, obviously, when I can, can be contributing to the side, especially with the bat, and um, I wasn't quite doing that, and so I've gone away and worked, worked changed a few little, little things, and still feels a little bit awkward at the minute, but it's, it's getting in the right direction, which is good. And many congratulations, of course, on being included in the England squad. You must be very pleased about it. Yeah, that. no, happy. Um, obviously, it's, there's been a few injuries around, and um, the main goal was just to sort of get be, be fit for this time of year, and you never know what's going to happen. So, um, delighted to be involved, and can't wait to get there up, up there next Sunday.